This has got to be one of the busiest weeks of 2019 with not one, not two, but four new car launches. What I have with me is the new Maruti Suzuki XL6, which is one of those launches. Now, before I go any further, I should tell you that our views are embargoed till the 25th of August. So for the full review, stay tuned to autocarindia.com or keep tuned in to our YouTube channel. Now, in a brief, the XL6 is based on the Ertega MPV. It will be retailed from Maruti's Nexa premium showrooms. And on the whole, it's a upmarket subsidiary to the Ertega we are all familiar with. So as you can tell, it's not exactly like the Ertega we are all familiar with. There are changes and the prime changes are up front. It's got this upright new nose. It also gets a few features which the Ertega was missing, including LED headlamps. There's a lot of cladding and scuff plates. And uh, on the whole, it does look like a rugged version of the Ertega. Do note, this is a slightly accessorized version. So the chrome lower down on the doors is part of the accessories menu. Though the cladding, the silver cladding right down is standard fit. Further back is where it looks closest to the Ertega we are all familiar with. Again, what makes the difference is the cladding lower down and the scuff plate. These chrome surrounds are new too, but they are part of the accessories list. Now just a quick look on the inside. Now the 6 in the XL6 signifies that this is a 6-seater. So the conventional bench has made way for two captain's chairs in the middle row which can be slid forward, there's manual uh, recline for the backrest as well and when you do want to enter you can't flip and fold the middle row seat as you can in the standard Ertega but you can push it all the way forward and free up a bit more room to gain access to the third row. Now the seats on the XL6 come finished in leatherette and uh, that's part of the changes which make this what you'd call the premium version of the Ertega. On the inside, it's still very familiar fare. We've seen it all before, it's shared with the Ertega, but there are a few differences. For one, there is the introduction of cruise control, which is something that was missing on the Ertega. Also new is Maruti's latest Smart Play Studio infotainment system. It's a 7 inch touchscreen unit but does get more by way of features and is generally better to use. There's also this nice finish and an important difference is that the interior is all black here. Now of the other things, the Maruti Suzuki XL6 is only available in petrol electric hybrid form. Its petrol engine makes 105 horsepower. Uh, the electric motor adds to efficiency and your transmission options include a five-speed manual and a four-speed torque converter automatic. There will be no diesel and that is something that could be a bit of a bother for some buyers. Now the XL6 has been priced at 9.8 to 11.4 lakh rupees. The manual and automatic are both available in two variants each and they both come with plenty of features. How is the XL6 to drive and does it deliver on that premium promise? We'll find out soon so stay tuned till the 25th when we give you our full review.